the Campeonato Nacional de Liga de Primera División, commonly known as the Primera División or La Liga and officially as La Liga EA Sports since 2023 for sponsorship reasons, is the top men's professional football division of the Spanish Football League system. It is controlled by the Liga Nacional de Fútbol Profesional and is contested by 20 teams over a 38-match day period. Since its inception, 62 teams have competed in La Liga. Nine teams have been crowned champions, with Barcelona winning the inaugural La Liga and Real Madrid winning the title a record 36 times. Real Madrid are also the most recent winners, having won the 2023-24 edition. During the 1940s Valencia, Atletico Madrid and Barcelona emerged as the strongest clubs, winning several titles. Real Madrid and Barcelona dominated the championship in the 1950s, each winning four La Liga titles during the decade. During the 1960s and 1970s, Real Madrid dominated La Liga, winning 14 titles, with Atletico Madrid winning four. During the 1980s and 1990s, Real Madrid were prominent in La Liga, but the Basque clubs of Athletic Club and Real Sociedad had their share of success, each winning two Liga titles. From the 1990s onward, Barcelona have dominated La Liga, winning 17 titles to date. Although Real Madrid has been prominent, winning 11 titles, La Liga has also seen other champions, including Valencia and Deportivo La Coruna. According to UEFA's league coefficient rankings, La Liga was the top league in Europe in each of the seven years from 2013 to 2019, calculated using accumulated figures from five preceding seasons, and led Europe for 22 of the 60 ranked years up to 2019, more than any other country. It also produced the continent's top-rated club more times, 22, than any other league in that period, more than double that of second-placed Serie A, Italy, including the top club in 10 of the 11 seasons between 2009 and 2019, each of these pinnacles was achieved by either Barcelona or Real Madrid. La Liga clubs have won the most UEFA Champions League, 20, UEFA Europa League, 14, UEFA Super Cup, 16, and FIFA Club World Cup, 8, titles, and its players have accumulated the highest number of Ballon d'Or awards, 24, the best FIFA Men's Player awards, 19, and UEFA Men's Player of the Year awards, 12. La Liga is one of the most popular professional sports leagues globally, with an average attendance of 26,933 for league matches in the 2018-19 season. This is the eighth highest of any domestic professional sports league in the world and the third highest of any professional association football league in the world, behind fellow Big Five leagues Bundesliga and Premier League, and above Serie A and Ligue 1. La Liga is also the seventh wealthiest professional sports league in the world by revenue, after the NFL, MLB, the NBA, the Premier League, the NHL, and the Bundesliga. From 2008 to 2016, it was sponsored by Banco Bilbao Vizcaya Argent Aria and known as Liga BBVA. Then, from 2016 to 2023, it was sponsored by Banco Santander and known as La Liga Santander. Since 2023, it has been sponsored by Electronic Arts and is known as La Liga EA Sports. The competition format follows the usual double round robin format. During the course of a season, which lasts from August to May, each club plays every other club twice, once at home and once away, for 38 matches. Teams receive 3 points for a win, 1 point for a draw, and no points for a loss. Teams are ranked by total points, with the highest ranked club crowned champion at the end of the season. A system of promotion and relegation exists between the Primera Division and the Segunda Division. The three lowest placed teams in La Liga are relegated to the Segunda Division, and the top two teams from the Segunda Division promoted to La Liga, with an additional club promoted after a series of playoffs involving the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth placed clubs. Below is a complete record of how many teams played in each season throughout the league's history. Tiebreaker rules If points are equal between two or more clubs, the rules are 
if all clubs involved have played each other twice. If the tie is between two clubs, then the tie is broken using the head-to-head -head goal difference for those clubs, without a way goals rule. If the tie is between more than two clubs, then the tie is broken using the games the clubs have played against each other. A. Head-to-head -head points. B. Head-to-head -head goal difference. If two-legged games between all clubs involved have not been played, or the tie is not broken by the rules above, it is broken using A. Total goal difference B. Total goals scored If the tie is still not broken, the winner will be determined by fair play scales. These are Yellow card, 1 point Doubled yellow card slash ejection, 2 points Direct red card, 3 points Suspension or disqualification of coach, executive or other club personnel, outside referee's decisions, 5 points. Misconduct of the supporters, mild 5 points, serious 6 points, very serious 7 points. Stadium closure, 10 points. If the competition committee removes a penalty, the points are also removed. If the tie is still not broken, it will be resolved with a tiebreak match in a neutral stadium. Qualification for European competitions, current criteria. The top four teams in La Liga qualify for the subsequent season's UEFA Champions League group stage. The winners of the UEFA Champions League and UEFA Europa League also qualify for the subsequent season's UEFA Champions League group stage. The fifth place team in La Liga and the winner of the Copa del Rey also qualify for the subsequent season's UEFA Europa League group stage. However, if the winner also finished in the top five places in La Liga, then this place reverts to the team that finished 6th in La Liga. Furthermore, the 6th place, or 7th if 6th already qualifies due to the Copa del Rey, team qualifies for the subsequent season's UEFA Conference League playoff round. The number of places allocated to Spanish clubs in UEFA competitions is dependent upon the position a country holds in the UEFA country coefficients, which are calculated based upon the performance of teams in UEFA competitions in the previous five years. As of the end of the 2023-24 season, the ranking of Spain, and de facto La Liga, is second. In April 1928, José María Acha, a director at Arenas de Getco, first proposed the idea of a national league in Spain. After much debate about the size of the league and who would take part, the Real Federación Española de Fútbol eventually agreed on the 10 teams who would form the first Primera División in 1929. Arenas, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Athletic Club, Real Sociedad and Real Union were all selected as previous winners of the Copa del Rey. Atletico Madrid, Espanyol and Europa qualified as Copa del Rey runners-up and Racing de Santander qualified through a knockout competition. Only three of the founding clubs, Real Madrid, Barcelona and Athletic Club, have never been relegated from the Primera División. Although Barcelona won the first Liga in 1929 and Ricardo Zamora's Real Madrid won their first titles in 1932 and 1933, it was Athletic Bilbao that set the early pace winning La Liga in 1930, 1931, 1934 and 1936, in addition to four Copa trophies, and they also achieved the biggest win in La Liga history by beating Barcelona 12-1. This team, coached by Fred Pentland, is known by the nickname First Historic Squad, notably forming an attacking partnership with Bata, Guillermo Garastiza, Jose. Irarigori, Churi 2 and La Fuente. In 1935, Real Betis, then known as Betis Balampi, won their only title to date. Primera Division was suspended during the Spanish Civil War. In 1937, the teams in the Republican area of Spain, with the notable exception of the two Madrid clubs, competed in the Mediterranean League and Barcelona emerged as champions. Seventy years later, on September 28, 2007, Barcelona requested the Royal Spanish Football Federation, Spanish acronym RFEF, to recognize that title as a Liga title. This action was taken after RFEF was asked to recognize Levant's Copa de la España Libra win as equivalent to Copa del Rey trophy. 
Nevertheless, the governing body of Spanish football has not made an outright decision yet. When the Primera Division resumed after the Spanish Civil War, it was Atletico Aviation, nowadays Atletico Madrid, Valencia and Barcelona that emerged as the strongest clubs. Atletico were only awarded a place during the 1939-40 season as a replacement for Real Oviedo, whose ground had been damaged during the war. The club subsequently won its first Liga title and retained it in 1941. While other clubs lost players to exile, execution and as casualties of the war, the Atletico team was reinforced by a merger. The young, pre-war squad of Valencia had also remained intact and in the post-war years matured into champions, gaining three Liga titles in 1942, 1944 and 1947. They were also runners-up in 1948 and 1949. Athletic Bilbao was one of the clubs most affected by the war, since many of its players, sympathizers of the Republican faction, went into exile in Latin America and very few returned. But thanks to a search for young talents, they managed to form the well-known second historic squad made up of Rafael Iriondo, Venancio Pérez, José Luis Panizo, Agustin Gainza, and the mythical scorer Telmo Zera, Spanish top scorer in La Liga history, among other records. They won a La Liga and Copa del Generalísimo double in 1943 and won the cup again in 1944, 1945, and 1950, in addition to an Copa Eva Duarte, official predecessor of the Supercopa. Sevilla also enjoyed a brief golden era, finishing as runners-up in 1940 and 1942 before winning their only title to date in 1946. Meanwhile, on the other side of Spain, Barcelona began to emerge as a force under the legendary Josep Samitier. A Spanish footballer for both Barcelona and Real Madrid, Samitier cemented his legacy with Barcelona. During his playing career with Barcelona he scored 133 goals, won the inaugural La Liga title and five Copa del Rey. In 1944, Sami Tir returned to Barcelona as a coach and guided them in winning their second La Liga title in 1945. Under Sami Tir and legendary players Cesar Rodriguez, Josep Escola, Estanislao Becerra and Mariano Gonzalvo, Barcelona dominated La Liga in the late 1940s, winning back-to-back -back La Liga titles in 1948 and 1949. The 1940s proved to be a successful season for Barcelona, winning three La Liga titles and one Copa del Rey, but the 1950s proved to be a decade of dominance, not just from Barcelona, but from Real Madrid. Although Atletico Madrid, previously known as Atletico Aviation, were champions in 1950 and 1951 under mastermind Helenio Herrera, the 1950s continued the success FC Barcelona had during the late 1940s. During this decade, FC Barcelona's first golden era emerged under coach Ferdinand Dosic, winning back-to-back -back La Liga and Copa del Rey doubles in 1951-52 and 1952-53. In 1952, FC Barcelona made history yet again by winning five distinctive trophies in one year. This team, composed of Laszlo Kubala, Mariano Gonzalvo, Cesar Rodriguez Alvarez, and Joan Seguera, won La Liga, Copa del Rey, Copa Eva Duarte, predecessor of Spanish Super Cup, Latin Cup, and Copa Martini and Rossi. Their success in winning five trophies in one year earned them the name El Equipe de la Syncopes or the Team of the Five Cups. In the latter parts of the 1950s, coached by Helenio Herrera and featuring Luis Suarez, Barcelona won yet again back-to-back -back La Ligas, winning them in 1959 and 1960. In 1959, Barcelona also won another double of La Liga slash Copa del Rey, conquering three doubles in the 1950s. The 1950s also saw the beginning of the Real Madrid dominance. During the 1930s through the 1950s there were strict limits imposed on foreign players. In most cases, clubs could have only three foreign players in their squads, meaning that at least eight local players had to play in every game. During the 1950s, however, these rules were circumvented by Real Madrid who naturalist Alfredo Di Stefano and Ferenc Puskas. 
Di Stefano, Puskas, Raymond Copa and Francisco Gento formed the nucleus of the Real Madrid team that dominated the second half of the 1950s. Real Madrid won their third La Liga in 1954 their first since 1933 and retained their title in 1955. In 1956, Athletic Club won their sixth La Liga title, but Real Madrid won La Liga again in 1957 and 1958. All in all, Barcelona and Real Madrid won four La Liga titles each in the 1950s, with Atletico Madrid winning two and Athletic Club winning one during this decade. Real Madrid dominated La Liga between 1960 and 1980, being crowned champions 14 times. Real Madrid won five La Liga titles in a row from 1961 to 1965 as well as winning three doubles between 1960 and 1980. During the 1960s and 1970s, only Atletico Madrid offered Real Madrid any serious challenge. Atletico Madrid were crowned La Liga champions four times in 1966, 1970, 1973 and 1977. Atletico Madrid also finished second place in 1961, 1963 and 1965. In 1971, Valencia won their fourth La Liga title in 1971 under Alfredo Di Stefano, and the Juan Cruyff-inspired Barcelona won their ninth La Liga in 1974. Real Madrid's monopoly in La Liga was interrupted significantly in the 1980s. Although Real Madrid won another five La Liga titles in a row from 1986 to 1990 under the brilliance of Emilio Butragueño and Hugo Sanchez, the Basque clubs of Real Sociedad and Athletic Bilbao also dominated the 1980s. Real Sociedad won their first La Liga titles in 1981 and 1982, Luis Arconada, Roberto López Ufarte and T. Siki Bagiristain stood out from this team. Later, Athletic Bilbao also managed to win two consecutive La Liga titles in 1983 and 1984, also achieving their fifth La Liga and Copa del Rey double in 1984, the stars Andoni Zubazareta, Santi Urquiaga, Andoni Goicoitzi, Danny, Manuel Sarabia, and Estanislao Argot made the success possible. For its part, Barcelona won their 10th La Liga title in 1985 under coach Thierry Venables, their first La Liga win since 1974. Juan Cruyff returned to Barcelona as manager in 1988, and assembled the legendary dream team. When Crook took control of his Barcelona side, they had won only two La Liga titles in the past 20 years. Crook decided to build a team composed of international stars and La Masia graduates in order to restore Barcelona to their former glory days. This team was formed by international stars Romario, Michael Laudrup, Hristo Stoikov, and Ronald Koeman. Cruyff's dream team also consisted of La Masia graduates Pep Guardiola, Albert Ferrer, and Guillermo Amor, as well as Basque and Doni Zubazareta. Juan Cruyff changed the way modern football was played, and incorporated the principles of total football into this team. The success of possession-based football was revolutionary, and Cruyff's team won their first European Cup in 1992 and four consecutive La Liga titles between 1991 and 1994. In total, Cruyff won 11 trophies in eight years, making him the most successful manager in Barcelona's history, until the record was broken by his protégé Pep Guardiola two decades later. Barcelona's run ended with Real Madrid winning La Liga in 1995. Atletico Madrid won their ninth La Liga title in 1996, as well as their only Liga-slash-Copa del Rey double, before Real Madrid added another league title to their cabinet in 1997. After the success of Cruyff, another Dutchman, Ajax manager, Louis van Gaal, arrived at the Camp Nou, and with the talents of Luis Figo, Luis Enrique, and Rivaldo, Barcelona won the La Liga title in 1998 and 1999, including their fourth double of Liga and Copa del Rey in 1998. All in all, Barcelona won six La Liga titles in the 1990s. The 21st century continued the success Barcelona had in the 1990s under Juan Cruyff, dominating La Liga. Although Real Madrid had been prominent, 
Barcelona created a hegemony in Spain not seen since the Real Madrid of the 1960s, 70s. Since the start of the new century, Barcelona won 10 La Ligas, including two trebles and four doubles. This new century however has also seen new challengers being crowned champions. Between 1999 to 2000 and 2004, Deportivo La Coruna finished in the top three on five occasions, a better record than either Real Madrid or Barcelona, and in 2000, under Javier Iruerta, Deportivo became the ninth team to be crowned champions. Valencia were one of the strongest teams in Europe in the early to mid-2000s, they were crowned La Liga champions in 2002 and 2004 under Rafael Benitez, whilst also being runners-up in the UEFA Champions League in 2000 and 2001 under Hector Cupper and winning the UEFA Cup in 2004 and the Copa del Rey in 1999. Real Madrid won their first Liga titles of the century in 2001 and 2003. With world-class players like Raúl, Ruud van Nistelrooy and Gonzalo Higuain, Real Madrid won back-to-back -back La Liga titles in 2006, 07 and 2007, 08. Barcelona won their first title of the new century after Real Madrid and Valencia had shared the last four titles under the brilliance of Ronaldinho and Samuel Eto'o in the 2004, 05 season. Barcelona retained the title to make it back-to-back -back wins in the 2005, 06 season. In 2009-10, Real Madrid achieved a record 96 points but still finished behind Barcelona, who amassed 99 points. Barcelona then won a third straight La Liga title in the 2010-11 season with 96 points to Riddle's 92, but Real Madrid ended their winning streak in the 2011-12 season under the management of Jose Mourinho and with the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Angel Di Maria, Mesut Ozil and Karim Benzema. Madrid won their 32nd La Liga title with a record 100 points, a record 121 goals scored and a record plus 89 goal difference. The following year, in the 2012-13 season, Barcelona won yet another La Liga title under coach Tito Villanova, replicating the 100 points record Real Madrid achieved the previous year. Atletico Madrid, under the management of Diego Simeone, won their 10th La Liga title in 2013-14, their first since 1996. They became the first team since Valencia in 2004 to win La Liga and break Barcelona and Real Madrid's dominion over the league. In the 2014-15 season, under the trio of Messi, Neymar and Suarez nicknamed MSN, Barcelona made history by becoming the first team to achieve a second treble, and winning a sixth Liga slash Copa del Rey double. Barcelona continued their dominance, and in the 2015-16 season they won a back-to-back -back Liga slash Copa del Rey double, something that had not been achieved since the 1950s. Real Madrid brought back the La Liga title under the management of Zinedine Zidane in 2016-17, but Barcelona won the title again in the 2017-18 season, as well as winning their eighth double, for seven La Liga titles in ten years. Barcelona retained the title yet again and won their 26th La Liga title in the 2018-19 season, for eight La Liga titles in 11 years. Real Madrid reclaimed the title in 2019-20, winning the season that was severely disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic. The 2020-21 season started on September 12, and was won by Atletico Madrid, with Real Madrid as runners-up. In August 2021, La Liga clubs approved a €2.7 billion Euros deal to sell 10% of the league to CVC Capital Partners. The 2021-22 season was won by Real Madrid with four games to spare, while the 2022-23 season was won by Barcelona with four games to spare. In 2023, La Liga rebranded itself with a new logo and new sponsor. EA, Electronic Arts, replaced the Spanish financial services giant Santander that was the title sponsor of the league for seven years. La Liga EA Sports and La Liga High Promotion are the names of the Primera and Segunda divisions, starting in the 2023-24 season and for the following four seasons. 
20 teams contest the league in its current season, including the top 17 sides from the 2023-24 season and three promoted from the 2023-24 Segunda Division. Leganés and Real Valladolid were promoted directly, and Espanyol won the promotion playoff. Community of Madrid teams, Atletico, Getafe, Leganés, Rayo Vallecano, Real Madrid. The Primera Division is currently third in the UEFA rankings of European leagues based on their performances in European competitions over a five-year period, behind England's Premier League and Italy's Serie A, but ahead of Germany's Bundesliga and France's Ligue 1. Real Madrid, Barcelona and Atletico Madrid have been in the top 10 most successful clubs in European football in terms of total European trophies. These three clubs, along with Sevilla and Valencia, are the only Spanish clubs to have won five or more international trophies. Deportivo La Coruna are the joint fifth most participating Spanish team in the Champions League with Sevilla after Real Madrid, Barcelona, Valencia and Atletico Madrid with five Champions League appearances in a row, including a semi-finals appearance in 2003-04. During the 2005-06 European season, La Liga became the first league to have its clubs win both the Champions League and UEFA Cup since 1997, as Barcelona won the UEFA Champions League and Sevilla won the UEFA Cup. This feat was repeated four times in five seasons, during the 2013-14 season Real Madrid won their 10th Champions League title and Sevilla won their third Europa League, during the 2014-15 season Barcelona won their 5th Champions League title and Sevilla won their 4th Europa League, during the 2015-16 season Real Madrid won their 11th Champions League title and Sevilla won their 5th Europa League, becoming the first team to win the title three times in a row, and during the 2017-18 season Real Madrid won their 13th Champions League title and Atletico Madrid won their 3rd Europa League. In 2015, La Liga became the first league to enter five teams in the Champions League group stage, with Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid and Valencia qualifying via their league position and Sevilla qualifying by virtue of their victory in the Europa League, courtesy of a rule change. Players, Eligibility of non-EU players In La Liga in 2020, each club is allowed five non-EU players but are only allowed to name three non-EU players in each matchday squad. Players can claim citizenship from the nation their ancestors came from. If a player does not have European ancestry, he can claim Spanish citizenship after playing in Spain for five years. Sometimes, this can lead to a triple citizenship situation, for example, Leo Franco, who was born in Argentina, is of Italian heritage yet can claim a Spanish passport, having played in La Liga for over five years. In addition, players from the ACP countries countries in Africa, the Caribbean and the Pacific that are signatories to the Cotonou Agreement are not counted against non-EU quotas due to the Colpac ruling. Until the 2008-09 season, no official individual awards existed in La Liga. In the 2008, 09 season, the governing body created the LFP Awards, now called La Liga Awards, awarded each season to individual players and coaches. The majority of these awards were discontinued after the 2015-16 season. 34 additional awards relating to La Liga are distributed, some not sanctioned by the Liga de Football Profesional or RFEF and therefore not regarded as official. The most notable of these are four awarded by Spain's largest sports paper, Marca, namely the Pichichi Trophy, awarded to the top scorer of the season, the Ricardo Zamora Trophy, for the goalkeeper with the fewest goals allowed per game, minimum 28 games, the Alfredo Di Stefano Trophy, for the player judged to be the best overall player in the division, and the Zera Trophy, for the top scorer among Spanish domestic players. Since the 2013-14 season, La Liga has also bestowed the monthly Manager of the Month and Player of the Month awards. The first La Liga player to be involved in a transfer which broke the world record was Luis Suarez in 1961, who moved from Barcelona to Inter Milan for £152,000, £4.3 million in 2023. 
Twelve years later, Yuan Kruk was the first player to join a club in La Liga for a record fee of £922,000, £14.1 million in 2023, when he moved from Ajax to Barcelona. In 1982, Barcelona again set the record by signing Diego Maradona from Boca Juniors for £5 million, £22 million in 2023. Real Betis set the world record in 1998 when they signed Denilson from Sao Paulo for £21.5 million, £47.8 million in 2023. Four of the last six world transfer records have been set by Real Madrid, signing Luis Figo Zindine Zidane Cristiano Ronaldo, plus a deal for Kaka days before Ronaldo which fell just below a world record due to the way the fee was calculated, and finally Gareth Bale, who was bought in 2013 for £85.3 million, pounds, 103.4 million euros or $140 million at the time, £123.5 million pounds in 2023, from Tottenham Hotspur. Brazilian forward Neymar was the subject of an expensive and complicated transfer arrangement when he joined Barcelona from Santos in 2013, and his outgoing transfer to Paris Saint-Germain in 2017 set a new world record fee at €222 million Euros via his buyout clause. Barcelona soon invested a large amount of the money received from this transfer in a replacement, Asminadimbal, whose deal, €105 million, Euros, was the second most expensive ever before Philippe Coutinho's transfer to Barcelona for €142 million Euros in January 2018. Sponsors EA Sports, Puma, Microsoft, Mahasan Miguel Group, Sarare, BKT Tires Visit Saudi, La Liga Golazos, Dapper Labs, GOL Ball El Corte Inglés, Allianz, Burger King, Panini Group, Nissan, Nissan, Foods Vivo. Solon de Cabras, Legends The Home of Football, Avery Denison, Green Park Sports, Fanatics. Sponsorship names Liga BBVA, 2008-2016, La Liga Santander, 2016-2023, La Liga EA Sports, 2023. Thank you for watching this video.